the rod. Yeah, that's what Today we're gonna be finishing up the uh, Q&A. Q&A. video today. I mean, which you guys could ask ask us questions now. We're just gonna start responding back to YouTube and Facebook questions. Yeah. Guys, lifestyle, guys, lifestyle. Gonna like the page, add the page, YouTube. Let's get to it. Our first question. Um, he was basically asking, do you need okay, when you get out of do you need a certain amount of hours to come to covenant? Like a certain amount of driving hours to come to covenant. Uh, you just need your CDL, right? Yeah, yeah, you just need a CDL. They they already gonna you are they already gonna put you in the uh, training program. Right. You gonna get you gonna get a trainer. Or well, you have to get a, a certain amount of hours to be on your own, so you do not need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you have your class A, C, D, L, license in hand, whatever you had to do to get them, I mean, they're gonna try to teach you how to drive truck. Yeah. Okay. What you were saying, baby? That's the next question. Okay. Let's get to the next question. It's on another video. Okay. He asked. He was saying he heard sometimes that you and your partner can get separated. Um, he and he was just trying to see would that be a problem if you come to company? Um, no. If you come in together and then you already have your partner, it's easier for them to go ahead and to assign you know a trainer to you guys because you know each trainer that that I mean if y'all was gonna get trained separate. Y'all both need a trainer. But since y'all training together, y'all only need one trainer. So that's less wear and tear on the trainers. So I highly doubt that. Like I said, we 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 never witnessed it. We ain't never heard nobody do that. Uh, you know, like I said, we when we came in, people that was already partnering up, they trained together. Yeah. And uh, you know, that's what they did. Like they actually encouraged you to find a train I mean a find partner. a partner. Before you even go out with a trainer, so y'all yeah. can train together, y'all can get comfortable with being together. Yeah. And also, when you get through with your trainer, if you don't have a partner, you will have to wait until you get a partner. Yeah. To so even go out on the road. And they, and they and they encourage you to go ahead and find you a partner within your last two weeks a trainer. Yeah. So. While you still out on the road, they encourage you to not have your partner ready. So that wouldn't be really a problem in company. Okay. What's the next question? Um, This question is about our pay. Okay. He asks, I would love to know how you work your hours of operation. Do you ever have time to spend, or she, I'm sorry, have time to spend together if the truck is constantly moving? Okay, me and John, <laughs> we, like this is the time we're spending together right now. We spend this together. We also, you also have to take a 34 hour break. I mean, 34 hour reset. So you get spend that time together. It's it, you spend a lot of time out here with your husband or with your wife or with your partner. But you also it's gonna be time when y'all separated when y'all constantly on the move. Like during the week, me and John is like rolling. But we still have time where we see each other, we talk and all that kind of stuff. But you know It's it's not what you think it is. It's yeah. it's it's easy, you know, just your partner's right here. Just think about think about this. If you were if you were to go anywhere else and y'all go train separately, I guarantee you when it's time for y'all to reunite, you'll find you'll find a way for you to get your time and you know to, to work everything out. Everything will come normal. Like this right here, this is real normal for us. Right. Uh you know, <laughs> but you know, the, the most you're going to be away from your spouse is maybe when you sleep when you sleep and it's like you maybe you're not even a foot away and then john like what i do when i go back there and sleep but I, I like to keep the curtain open a little bit so i can look at him and when i wake up i can talk to him a little bit but when he go back there <laughs> he just closed the curtain all day and he be gone like today he surprised me he actually woke up and was talking to me so it's just what what you make out of it like you gonna have time, trust me. You gonna have time to spend with your partner. Yep. Y'all ain't gonna be like that. Even if you don't do a uh, uh, 34 hour reset, y'all roll on recaps. Y'all still make y'all have time. Yeah. 
I y'all guarantee y- 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 y'all gonna have time. And uh, then y'all together 24 7, so that time that you back there, you gonna enjoy that time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, what was the other question, baby? Okay. She wanted to know. Um, hey. And lastly, how many miles are y'all averaging a week? Okay, let's start off with the pay. Right now, we are we, we have a six months experience. We're trying to be coming in April. Once we got out of training, I think we started making 42 cents a mile. Uh, we Once we got out of training, you know, then we had to build our rep up. Like we said in the beginning, in the intro video, uh, you know, establishing loyalty and building your rep up and getting the loads done on time. And they eventually started giving us more loads. Then it got to the point where they they saw our work ethic and they uh, gave us a dedicated route. So right now we're averaging uh, about 50 to about 5200 miles a week, uh, which is good. Uh, we come home every weekend, and you know it, it's good. We we had 50 cent a mile in a six months period. Um, I don't I don't want to get into you know grossing numbers. I, I I'm like I'm not I'm not gonna do all that. But I just tell you what, you know, what, what you will make a mile. I think if you start off with your hazmat, because they have a minimum guarantee pay of, uh, what, is it, what, $500, $600 when you first get out of training? I can't yeah, remember. I think so. Then it goes to seven or 800 Yeah, it goes to seven, uh, like 800 But you got to have that hazmat. Yeah, you have to have your hazmat. You get, to get your hazmat, then you, you, you'll be eligible for the guarantee pay. And it's... it's don't think it's just, you know, it's just straight up a thousand dollars or straight up, you know, guaranteed, you know, you have to qualify for that minimum pay. You know, your truck has to be down, no freight, you know, you have to be qualified for them to gross you out a thousand dollars. Now you will gross a thousand dollars. They don't mean you need because everybody got their taxes set up different. You know, so you know what they what their merit what they what their minimum gross is, is what they guarantee. Now, with your net B, that's totally on for you. I think our minimum gross right now is 800 No. Nah, is it seven? It may be a thousand now. No, you have to be here a year for it to be a thousand. Nah, uh, but it may be 800. Okay, I'm so not sure. we make more than 800 a week. Yeah. But we, it's, when he say guaranteed my house, he's saying that you are guaranteed the 800 it gross. Yeah. But you can make more than 800. Yeah. Or five hundred, or That's whatever just, part you. If something were to go wrong, you you can you can have you can have a backup plan. Basically, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like more it's of stability. Yeah. yeah, it's more stability. And like I said, we run like I said, uh, maybe five thousand miles a week, about fifty two hundred miles a week. Uh, and you know, it's good. Coverage treating us good. You know. We have our ups and downs. Everybody has their ups and downs. This is not the perfect company. And I I don't advise anybody to come out here just thinking that, you know, coming in here with the big head, you know, just come in here humble, go make your money, and, you know, see what God will do for you. You know, that's all I, that's all I have to say. You know, don't come in here, you know, talking, woo, this, and you get out here, and they, they talking, you know, it, it's not even like that, you know, just come out here and run, get in the mindset, you finna make money, and you'll make money, you know, you just gotta, you gotta sacrifice some things, you know, once you sacrifice some things, it'll make it easier for you to come out here and make this money, so, what else, what else we got? I think that's all the questions. That's all the questions, okay, well, that's gonna be it for the Q&A, uh, we're planning to uh, do a trip video like we did like a long time ago, like when we was in training. But we plan on doing a trip video you know, just to show you the whole dedicated route process uh, pretty soon. I'm not going to give you a day or a week. <laughs> yeah, I you know, know how we be. You know how <laughs> we be. We be busy. But I, I plan on trying to get that out pretty soon and, uh, you know, trying to keep the videos rolling. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, keep up. Uh, uh, I'm finna do a uh, Facebook video when I get to West when I get to West Memphis and give a, do a little shout out video. But uh, I mean, pretty pretty much, you know, this it, you know, this it for the Q and A. You know, thank you for your questions, thank you for your time. Continue to send them in, and uh, you know, y'all have a blessed.
Let's date. Yeah, it's lifestyle.